live from Cleveland, this is Progressive Field. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Cleveland Guardians. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Here in Cleveland, and now for Seattle, Adam Frazier. Out towards left center, Mercado moving under it, makes the catch for the out. And up next for Seattle, Ty France. Good contact guy, good defender. Right-hander kicks, deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. The pitch. And it's even up. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Ty France goes deep, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. One out, base is empty. Now it's the Mariners' DH, Jesse Winker. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. The 2-1. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. A tower home run and they tack one on the board it's two nothing now batting Mitch Hanniger next pitch misses and a count two and one count two and one. one down base is empty in for a strike it's two and two This to third. Ramirez sends it to first. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. Two outs, base is empty. A Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Two outs. Pitch misses there. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Righty delivers. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is even, two and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We go to the bottom of the first. So in now for Cleveland, Miles Straw. And the pitch. Fouled off down the right side. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here's a one-two. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. France makes the catch, and there's one down. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. The shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And here's a 3-2. That one laced to center and a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your that hands whatsoever. The Such a good baseman. feeling. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Ray, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Out of here. 
Jose Ramirez bops one out. And we are starting over. It's 2-2. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Base is empty, one away. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. Next offering is in the dirt. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, Confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. That one drilled left field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Brad Mill Reyes goes deep, and they grab the lead. It's 3-2. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So one out, nobody on. And now it's Bobby Bradley. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. And now it's even up. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser-like focus, slow everything down, stay right in that moment, pitch to pitch, execution, and focusing on that catcher's mitt. And he takes it himself for the out. Good late bite on that slider, got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it, exactly what he was supposed to do. Now it's Oscar Mercado. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. One ball, two strikes. Rolled over to third. Tosses across to first. And that is the inning. Second inning set to go. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. He gave up a couple of runs in the first. His offense picked him up. It's time for him to settle in now and throw up some zeros on that scoreboard. The next offering misses. Three and one now. Kicks and deals. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Straw pulls it down. One down. And now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. The center field. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Here's Jared Kelnick. The left fielder, number 10, Jared Kelnick. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Stays alive. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back there. That one is gone. He circles the bases, and we're all square. It's 3-3. Now it's Tom Murphy. Two down, nobody on. That's ball two. That one fouled off, two and two. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That's the third out. Back now at Progressive Field. And now Andres Jimenez. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff in the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. 
wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Here's Bradley Zimmer. That one to first, takes it himself, and that is that. Welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Well struck right field. And out of here. He leaves the yard to right. And just like that, they're out front. It's 4-3. Ty France up next for the Mariners. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And there's one down. Here's Jesse Winker. The next pitch misses. And that's ball two. Two balls, one strike. And there's a ball. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. On the ground at first, and he handles it himself for the out. At the play, Mitch Hanniger. Mitch 3-1 now. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The kick, the 3 2. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And it bangs up against the wall. Throw, and it gets away. And he'll pull into second safely. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Man at second. Bounce back to the mound. Into the outfield base hit. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 5-3. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Straw settles under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. here in Cleveland and stepping in is the speedy Miles Straw here's a 1-1 it's good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases and pick up a run strike two and a pitch swing and a miss and he struck him out one gone bottom of the third inning Ahmed Rosario digs in for the Guardians. That's to third. Suarez throw to first in time. And a couple of quick outs. And up next for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. The switch hitter batting right. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very... Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Three up, three down, inning over. Welcome back. On to the fourth. And stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. The 2-1. Two two Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game. And looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And he walked nope. him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Jared Kelman up next for the Mariners. Runner at first with no outs here.
Next offering is down low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three, two now. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. And out of here. A two-run homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add a pair. It's 7-3. Sam Hentges on the pitch out of the pen here. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So here's Murphy now. Here's a 1-1. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak in a big part of the history of this yard. Next pitch has popped up. Rosario under this one. He makes the grab, and there's one away. Well, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players, and they didn't feel like they had really clicked yet. Now, when I went back to do some research, looking at metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off. Little did we know that it would convert into a 22-game winning streak, and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. Next pitch is outside. Hard hit, right side. Sneaks through, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. So first and second with one man gone. And here is Jesse Winker at the belt and fires. That one ripped. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So first and second with two outs. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. That one down the line. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. of the fourth and now the DH Fran Mil Reyes and he deals swings and misses at the pitch off the plate 2-2 two -two. and that's ball four well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So, man aboard, Bobby Bradley digs in for the Guardians. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. And a ball evens the count. Reyes aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is fouled back. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Man at first, stepping up for the Guardians, Oscar Mercado. Going to count one and two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The one-two. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
In the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Next pitch misses inside. Now two balls and a strike. Kicks and fires. And a big swing and a miss. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's a big power threat. A. Eugenio Suarez. The wind of the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike two. The wind of the pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Here's the shortstop at the play. J.P. Crawford. The lefty ready. And a 1-1. In the air, left side. Mercado moving under this one. And there's two away. And up next for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Jimenez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the inning, Austin Hedges now. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. The pitch. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. So Hedges is gone. So in now for Cleveland, Bradley Zimmer. Bradley really good athlete and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders this catcher as well really quick feet he's able to recognize the pitch see the trajectory and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop fouled off again and it remains three and two ground ball left side on to france home half of the fifth inning moving along two quick outs so the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's a speed threat, Miles Straw. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate. And it gets by him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Next one misses. Two and two. Ray throw to first. And he's back in on a dive. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Cut off, now a throw home. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Top six. And the batter now, Jared Kelnick. Left-hand batter waits. Swung on, belted. That one's deep. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Next one off the plate inside, and it's two and one. And a pitch. And fouled off. And 
the pitch. Stays alive. Next pitch, not close, up high. Swings and misses. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Here's Adam Frazier. He's already homered in this game. The 1-1. Next offering misses down and away. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball there. The 2-2. Two -two. Line to left and foul ball. Here comes a pitch. In the air, left field. Mercado makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Now it's Jose Ramirez. The Guardians in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. He swings and fouls one off. Next pitch has popped up. Suarez under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And next is the designated hitter, Fran Mil Reyes. Next offering upstairs. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Next offering way off the plate. Bounced out to short. Crawford handles. Whips it to first on the run. Awesome play there. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Cleveland, Bobby Bradley. And a foul ball. Bradley waits. And another ball. him looking so he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue back now at progressive field new inning getting started and here is Ty France and a 1-1 there's a strike I got count. One and, two. and now the lefty Ripped on the ground a second. Gathers and throws to first. One up, one down. And yeah, the batter now, Jesse Winker. He's already homered here in this one. The 2-1. I got 3-1. Three, one. three balls, one strike. Good plate That's appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Next offering way off the plate. And here it comes. In the air on the infield, Rosario under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Winker off of first with two away. Swings through that. Next offering misses. 
The count now two and two. Two outs. And that one moves his feet. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way. Gone. Eugenio Suarez blasts one out. And they add a couple more. It's 9-3. In a 3-2 count, you've got to be ready to hit at the plate, even if it's a borderline pitch. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. Got to be ready to pull the trigger. He had a great swing on that. They got rewarded for it. Two outs, nobody on. And now for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. Next offering is in for a strike. And the pitch. And the one-two misses to even the count. The pitch. Right side. Throw over to Bradley. That's out number three. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Justice Sheffield. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Justice Sheffield. Here in Cleveland, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now Oscar Mercado. The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. The wide to kick the pitch. To the right side. And it gets by him. So, man aboard. Here's Andres Jimenez. At the belt and fires. And it's fouled away. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Crawford over to second, and it's a double play. Two outs, base is empty. And next is the Guardians catcher, Austin Hedges. One, two now. And he hits a ground ball right side. Frazier on the first in time. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Back here in Cleveland, we're at the top of the eight. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. One, two now. Ripped to third and caught. Jared Kellner now at the plate. And a pitch. So now one and two. One ball. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a one two. And a foul ball left side. Got him. And two away now. Two outs, space is empty. Now, Tom Murphy. On a line out towards center. Straw makes the catch, and that'll do it. Ready for the bottom of the eighth, and now the right fielder, Bradley Zimmer.
There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So the lineup flips over. Miles Straw getting ready to hit the pitch. That one the other way. Takes it in for the out. Stepping up for the Guardians, Ahmed Rosario. Zimmer, the runner at second with one away. It's softly on the ground left side. Zips it to first. Score at 5-3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. And the count one and two. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Ooh, that wasn't even close. You know, sometimes a guy will barely miss the zone and hit someone, but right there, he completely lost the handle, and that's when it gets a little scary. Next pitch is outside, and that's ball three. There's a strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. The throws offline, he's safe. It's now nine to four. Picks himself up in RBI. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Stepping in, Bobby Bradley. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. So a young arm coming on now out of the pen, Logan Allen. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Kicks and fires. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Oh, the throw is wild. Now around second, going for third. The throw to third, and he's out, trying for three. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. Right through there, got him. Now two away. Jesse Winker up next for the Mariners. And a swing and a miss. Two down, nobody on. Two balls, two strikes. And down on strikes. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, bottom nine. So in now for Cleveland, Oscar Mercado. Two and one now. There's a line drive to left field. And that one hops the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. And now a full count. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Left field. 
Kelman racing over to make the catch. Austin Hedges stands in. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. Oh, he throws it away. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Sergio Romo. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Bradley Zimmer will hit next. Hedges over at second, one down. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. And up next for Cleveland, Miles Straw. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. So two down now, and here is Ahmed Rosario. Two on, two outs, and one and two. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, these guys came to the yard today thinking one thing, launch mode. Six home runs, just an incredible offensive display today. Even by today's standards, that is a huge total. Our final score here, 9-5. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Score this afternoon. First for the victory.